and so just scrying Aether, Eel, or uh, Call 11, I should say. And the angels are once again showing me a tube, and this tube is connecting end to end and making a circle, which itself is now rotating about into a sphere. And they're showing that this hap is happening in four dimensions, five, etc. So we have a real rolling up now of the um, three previous elements, as well as the element of fire within this n-dimensional hypersphere. And there's once again a big outpouring uh, so it's almost as if, the, again, there's this shooting up from the very center of a funnel-like part or moment and a toroidal-like uh, structure that is sort of coming in on itself and then coming back up, um, like you might see with uh, certain magnets and a magnetic field about it. So this is um, of interest, and I'm just sensing right now um, it's really just a combination and, and uh, an unfolding of all of the different elements together at one, working in simultaneity with each other. Um, and through their combined powers, they're, I'm being asked to put my feet on the other three tablets, so I'm obliging. And the angels are basically just saying that um, with their combined power, there's a lot. Um, once the secrets are known about what ought to be moved, they can work to transform them, especially if one is doing so in wisdom with the wisdom of the divine. So um, there's a lot of power to be made and a lot of transformation to be, to be, to be done through their efforts. And the question is, to what end? And so hence the, the idea of a mechanical art. Um, and this, I'm being told, is sort of now together with the other three elements. Uh, fire has a means to ground, has a means to connect. And really, um, uh, it's, it's almost like, you know, a collective will uh, can be... Um, whispered into 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 reality um almost as if a precipitate is coming out of a solution and so this it's important to check our motivations and to really come at that from a non-dual perspective um in the sense that you know something can arise that is just uh, of a non-dual good. Um, and so, and just recognizing that that's always what was there. It really, we're just revealing it um, as it were, as if it were a, um, to use that older sense of that term apocalypse, a revelation. So I'm looking to see what else and the angels are just saying, Use this energy right now. If you're somebody who's watching this, use that energy of transformation to transform your heart um, and use the reflection of the world that you don't like as, um, as a thing, as, as a, look, at, look at those things as a means to uh, reveal your own resistance to your own heart. And once you can see that, when, when you see how you are resisting your own heart, you can start to learn to let that go and you can begin doing that and um, taking the, the time, such time as it takes to get that done and learning the practice and getting that done. But um, that's kind of the message that the angels have here in this vision. Um, and they're just sort of like clearing me out from sort of the crown chakra down and again, as I continue this work, it seems a lot that there's a lot of subtle body work um, going on through here. So it's very rich, very beautiful, and I'm very grateful and thus ends the vision.